Hello, in this topic we will see uh, IB questions, common IB questions that uh, you may see in the exams, which uh, they have to do with uh, differentiation, the easy part of differentiation. Let's see one of these questions. It says a particle A moves so that the, its velocity V uh, meters per second at time t is given by this function, V equals 2 sine t, with t bigger than uh, 0. And uh, the kinetic energy of the particle A is measured in joules, joules and uh, is given by E equals 5V square. Write an expression A. Write an expression of uh, for E as a function of times. Of time. Now, here obviously I have to do a simple substitution. Instead of V, I will put my function. So, I ha can have e equals 5 times v which is 2 sine t square and that gives me be careful with the calculations 4 times sine square t which is 20 sine square t uh, so this is my expression so basically E is 20 sine square T. Now let's go to B. Hence find uh, the derivative of E in terms of T. So my function, my variable is T. Eh? So the derivative of kinetic energy in terms of T is equal. Obviously the derivative of that thing now here, 20 times the derivative of that function, because this is a constant, sorry, the derivative. Now here, this is, uh, uh, this here we must use the chain rule. Be careful, this is the, uh, I will use first the power rule and then the chain inside with a sign. So, what do I mean is that the derivative of that is 2 power rule of the sine t times the derivative of the function, which is the derivative of sine t. So, I will have 40 sine t times cos t. Be careful, this is a tricky always uh, question on derivatives and square of sine or cos. So this is my function here. Uh, now, hence, let's move a little bit further down. Hence, or otherwise, uh, find the first time at which the kinetic energy is changing at the rate of 5 joules per second so I want this one the rate my rate I want the first time that the rate is changed at rate 5 now how we'll solve this question Obviously, you cannot solve it uh, algebraically with the tools that you have in uh, uh, IB curriculum. So, here I'm going to use my calculator. So, I'll go here on my calculator. Uh, I'll go to my Y, my graph, and I will uh, put inside my equation. Y1 will be this part of the equation, 40 sine x instead of t cos x instead of t and the other function will be 5 so as to see the first intersection and now we'll press graph I have it here let me make change my window here so as to have more clear uh, Maximum, let's put 10 here to see it. Yeah, I have a better graph. Maybe I should put 5. It's even better. Uh, 5. Let me graph it. 
so I will have it here. So I need that time, uh, this uh, point here. Or maybe I should be more careful and see if I have some. No, I don't have t. It's bigger than zero. Be careful. Sometimes they may change this. This t maybe it's oh, more than five. So I have to check in my graph. Um, where is uh, t? So here I will calculate second. Calculate intersection. First curve. Yes, 2.5 or uh, 5, it's the same. Huh? Did I make a mistake? No. Uh, so, second intersection. Intersection. First curve. Is this one? Yes. Second, 5. Yes. Make a guess. Now, I will go to the point that I want to calculate, this one. So, when t is 0 0.1, uh, when the rate is 5, the first time that happens is when t is 0 0.126. So here, t is 0 0.126. three so if I'll round it this is the answer for C so you see here uh, one point that I one uh, point that I have to be very um, cautious is here when I take the derivative and another one is here when I use my graph 